Do you have old data entry that you're trying to catch up on and maybe you're looking for some tips on how to speed up your entry? This is something I love to teach if we've never met before. Hi, I'm Candice Camfer, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. If you're a desktop user, you are in the right place. Let's go in and change some of your settings. Now, if you're looking for the online version of this training, go up above and also link it down below. Are you ready? Let me pull up my QuickBooks and let's jump in. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over here to edit and come down to preferences. You're gonna love this, okay? Go under general. Now there are two types of preferences. The first is my preferences. That's you as a user. What settings are you choosing? And then there are company preferences. Today, we're gonna to talk about user preferences. So this is for you specifically. You're gonna come down here to automatically recall information and you're gonna go automatically remember account or transaction information. You have two ways to do this. Automatically recall the last transaction for this name or pre-fill the accounts based off the vendor. Let me show you the difference. The one I love and I recommend is the automatic recall. Okay, so remember, you're gonna go under edit, preferences, choose general to the left, my preferences, and you'll see it there. So what is the difference? When you're here under vendors, and let's just say we pull up a vendor over here to the left there's account settings you can choose to automatically pull accounts in here as well the reason i like the other one better is because it automatically recalls what you did the last time so let's say that we're in and we're writing the check and we choose 76 gas station you'll notice it automatically pulls up i skipped that pop-up that came up but it automatically pulled up the dollar amount and the account that I used. So even if I make this $75 instead of $55, it will remember its fuel and update the amount. That is why I love this feature. Let me know if you are gonna use this to automate and speed up your data entry. Let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you'd like to receive these tips and tricks, in your inbox every single week. You can go up above or down below and join our tips and tricks. If you're thinking, I'd really like to also learn how to customize and really design QuickBooks for your specific needs and business, check out my customizing QuickBooks workshop. You can go up above or down below, or you can go to canvascamper.com forward slash workshop. I look forward to seeing you inside my next tip and trick. Have a wonderful day. Bye.